forging cyber, forging cyber security experts. Secure Ninja. Secure Ninja is excited to announce our new line of video training courses we're calling the Online Sensei Series. These are on-demand classes available 24-7, 365 at your convenience, taught by the best instructors in cybersecurity. Here's a complimentary taste of Secure Ninja's exclusive Cyber Kung Fu version of EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker version 8. This course was developed and taught by Larry Greenblatt and Tom Uptegrove. This unique series will enhance your comprehension of EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker version 8 curriculum. So here's Tom Uptegrove with Cyber Kung Fu Module 2 Lab, Footprinting and Reconnaissance. Enjoy. Welcome to Module 2, Footprinting and Reconnaissance. So, Footprinting and Reconnaissance, Alicia, is really designed uh, before we ever even do a penetration test. And what we're like, trying to do is gather as much information about an intended target. And so let's say that uh, I've been given a task to, uh, to vest um, uh, a person or a number of people that might be hired for a company. And in fact, you came up with a good idea about, uh, about um, somebody might have a potential date and actually just looking up some information about them. Mm -hmm. So it's really the same idea. You want to really be able to gather as much information as you can. So there are a number of uh, sites out there for that, and um, Spokio uh, is one of them. My favorite is uh, KGB People. And so let's go back here and, and pull that up uh, back there. I got a, a nice quick link for it. And so um, uh, Without really pulling some names out of here, probably the safest thing would be to just uh, look myself up. So why don't you type uh, Tom Uptegrove in there and, and search. Tommy Up. Yeah, maybe uh, we'll get Tommy Up to come up. Uh, so. Kind of interesting, um, something found in KGB people's profiles, um, Amazon, um, alternative sources. I don't know. It tells you where there's no results. Let's look at photos. Let's see if there's any photos. On YouTube, all right, so 34 results found on YouTube. I may have been responsible um, for some of those. Special thanks to Tom Updegrove from Keystone. This was a client of mine um, receiving my black belt, um, Sunday sparring. So, um, and here now, if I'm just kind of looking up, uh, so these are some videos that it must have out on. Uh, on YouTube. So, if you didn't know, this is Philly style Kempo. So, um, let's say the person I was looking up maybe knew something about um, they were a golfer, um, they were uh, into I don't know, water polo, horseback riding. So, what I would do is I would start. Um, uh, devising a phishing attack uh, towards this person and say uh, this was an intended victim. So I want to gather as much information. So I don't know if I'd mess with this guy, but um, <laughs> what I would do is um, craft some type of a martial art um, newsletter mm -hmm. to them. You know, get to see if they open it up, and then uh, I would send uh, I would send it a couple of times, and then maybe the third or fourth one, I'd have a Trojan sitting in there. Right. You know, that would give me kind of access and and be able to get in there. That's if I was, you know, thinking in terms of that. Appeal to their interests. Mm -hmm. and, you know, some of the other things, I mean, this is a great site. I, we could pull up a lot of lot of real interesting stuff about, this, about, about Tom, right? But mm -hmm. you can also uh, just, uh, just Google. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's use, uh, let's use a real safe, uh, a, a anonymous website, DuckDuckGo, look, and look, uh, look me up in there. See if we can find anything on me. 
Uh, so, records detail. Uh, it's interesting. So, um, is this accurate? Is that your yeah, mother, Margaret? Um, You're a Philly guy, we know that. But you know something, this site really does and just pulls up some records that really give us much information. Yeah. Um, and one of my favorites, though, way is um, to, um, to uh, do like a who is. So type who is, one word, and then um, space, and then and in parentheses put uh, Tom Optigrove. Um, in, uh, I'm sorry, quotation marks. So whenever you're doing a uh, web search, if you put the search terms together, it's going to look for, yeah, that's it. And almost everyone's got the same comeback that we did, but um, here this would be a little help, more helpful coming back with uh, some type of a, um, a connection visualizer. Okay. And then we're going to come back. This report is only seventy nine ninety five. Okay, but what I am trying. So this is pretty good actually because here it's picked up my father, my mother, um, uh, and both my sons. Okay? Uh, except I've never lived in Atlantic City. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm trying to pull up would be um, here's my ex. I'm trying to pull up um, some business information. Uh, Yeah, so the whole world now knows everything about me. <laughs> um, but it did kind of nail me down in here. Yeah. So here you go. Here's another one. So uh, just kind of roaming through, we uh, you know, managed to gather some interesting information you know, about our target. So wh what would you do with that information? Let's say you, you um, wanted to really scam me. Yeah. Could, could you, from that information, um, get enough to um, uh, try to trick me into uh, clicking something. Or, yeah, I mean, you know. were we able to find your email address? Uh, not yet. Uh, actually, I think we did when we were on uh, KGB People. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Email click here. Now, a lot of these are paid services. Do you feel like you need to you pay go. That's not bad. for good information? I think, uh, really, if, you, if, you, if you're using it, like if you were a private eye, um, yeah, you definitely want, like, the best. Right. You know, you want the, the, um, definitely the best type of service you could have, sure. Um, yeah, why, um, you know, spend all that time you know, when you can get right to the, right to the source of it? Right. Yeah, you know, it's amazing the database that are compiled today. Okay. Very cool. So basically, in a nutshell, that's, um, that's what we do when we're, we're de kind of developing a, a profile on someone. Right. Yeah. Um, now, you don't seem like a super easy target. There wasn't tons of Facebook and Twitter linked to your name. What about someone who had just that much more information online, someone who wasn't private with their security at all? We could find out so much about them. Yeah, I'm, I suppose there it's good when you uh, kind of have like Google Alerts, mm -hmm. at least if uh, if it's um, you know Google oriented, you know. But there are so many competing different databases and, and engines today. Right. Um, I think it's you know you have to be smart today because uh, with the proliferation of information like this, um, you know you're leaving you're leaving big footprints out there. Mm -hmm. So I think a little bit more like an Indian scout. You know I want to like tread lightly and um, uh, not leave as much information out there. You know as possible. I'd rather I'd rather live a little bit more like a ninja. You know? Probably a good strategy. Yeah, I think so. Me on the other hand, yeah. I have a Facebook fan page. Yeah. Yeah, you can look it up, Alicia. <laughs> there you I go. Get that in there, there you have it. Okay. <laughs> and that is footprinting and reconnaissance. We hope you enjoyed this short preview. If you'd like more information on the growing list of online Sensei Series courses, then head over to secureninja.com slash Sensei Series. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional.
Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.